One of the most important developments for humans in terms of space observation is the James Webb Space Telescope. The scientific community has great hopes for this telescope, which will be much more powerful than any previous space observatory ever launched by mankind. They will be able to investigate very far off space objects, something they have never been able to do. Proxima b is one of the things the JWST will observe in order to determine whether the planet is emitting artificial light. Yes, what you heard is true. If aliens are responsible for the light streaming from Proxima b, scientists want to know. How does the JWST's concentration on the exoplanet influence you and what will it see? So let's talk about it. Join us in today's video to find out what the James Webb Space Telescope found out about alien life on Proxima b. Exoplanets dot the universe and contain lots of secrets. These are any planets located beyond our solar system. Most of them orbit other stars, but free-floating exoplanets, called rogue planets, orbit the galactic center and remain untethered to any star. While exoplanets are plentiful, most of the ones discovered so far are in a relatively small region of our galaxy, the Milky Way. In actual fact, there are more planets than stars in the galaxy. By measuring exoplanets' sizes using diameters and masses using weights, scientists can see compositions ranging from very rocky, similar to the Earth and Venus, to very gas-rich, like Jupiter and Saturn. Exoplanets are made up of elements identical to those of the planets in our solar system, but their mixes of those elements may differ. So you can have some planets dominated by water or ice, while others are dominated by iron or carbon. Astronomers have identified lava worlds covered in molten seas, puffy planets the density of styrofoam, and dense cores of planets still orbiting their stars. The first exoplanets were discovered in the 1990s, and since then, thousands have been identified using various detection methods. However, it is pretty rare for astronomers to see an exoplanet through their telescopes the way you might see Saturn through a telescope from Earth. That's called direct imaging and only a handful of exoplanets have been found this way. And these tend to be young, gas giant planets orbiting very far from their stars. Since these exoplanets are hard to spot using existing telescopes, scientists have to use indirect methods to detect them. One indirect way is by measuring the dimming of a star that happens to have a planet pass in front of it. This is known as the transit method. Another method used to find exoplanets is monitoring the spectrum of a star for the telltale signs of a planet pulling on its star and causing its light to subtly Doppler effect. Space telescopes have found thousands of planets by observing transits, the slight dimming of light from a star when its tiny planet passes between it and our telescopes. Other detection methods include gravitational lensing, the so-called wobble method. Detecting exoplanets is tough, but studying them after detection is even harder. For this reason, astronomers have not been able to explore one of the most popular exoplanets, the Proxima b, as much as they wish, despite all of the great stuff they suspect it is concealing. For example, does the exoplanet host alien life? The James Webb Space Telescope has successfully unrolled its gold mirrors, calibrated its equipment, and started collecting stunning, in-depth pictures of the universe around it. But the mission has only just begun. The world's most powerful telescope Webb will see into the depths of our cosmos according to its designers and is anticipated to produce once-in-a-lifetime discoveries. As we know, scientists from all across the world have been researching planets outside of our solar system since the 1990s. The discovery and identification of other planets that resemble our own were made possible in large part by the Hubble Space Telescope. Now that Webb's infrared sensors are more powerful, we will be able to observe a lot more exoplanets in even more detail, ranging from tiny terrestrial planets to ocean worlds the size of Jupiter and beyond. To determine the kind of worlds that have been scattered among the stars, Webb will examine the concentration of particular elements in their atmospheres. Proxima b is one of the exoplanets that is nearest to Earth and was recently found by astronomers. Proxima b, which was found in 2016, is believed to be a rocky terrestrial planet that is somewhat larger than Earth and may possess liquid water, according to some researchers. It revolves around its little red dwarf star rather closely. It will therefore probably be tidally locked with a constant night side. Scientists believe that if extraterrestrial life exists on Proxima b, it may use strong mirrors or extremely bright LED lights to illuminate its cities. 
As we already know, they predict that they will be able to identify this artificial light if it exists by utilizing near-infrared detectors on the James Webb Telescope and looking for telltale signals of LED light waves as well as the light from the planet and its host star. There are several indicators that other worlds have advanced technology. For instance, if a large constellation of satellites passes by, we might be able to see the light of a faraway planet wavering. Nuclear conflict may generate atmospheric pollution, but these technological signs may also be brought on by a comet impact or an orbital piece of debris. The natural light of stars is different from artificial illumination. In other words, JWST would pick up on a civilization if it exists on Proxima b. Proxima b may be firmly locked because of how closely it circles its host star. Consequently, one side of the planet is constantly facing the star, whilst the other is always in the dark. Scientists believe that civilization on a closely sealed planet could thus need to concentrate on its lighting infrastructure and might even utilize very powerful orbiting mirrors to reflect sunlight onto the planet's night side, where it might be detected by our telescopes. The newfound world also has the alluring description of hiding in the habitable zone. But planets in this Goldilocks area of space are also neither too hot nor too cold to support liquid water due to the heat from their host star and not always populated or livable. There may be no running water on Proxima b, an essential condition for life as we know it. With the assistance of an atmosphere and a magnetic field, which protects us from the worst of cosmic radiation, life on Earth has flourished. Nobody is sure if Proxima b possesses one of them, thus an investigation is being launched. Proxima b, according to astronomy professor Ignaz Snellen of the Premier Observatory, is the most significant planet discovered outside the solar system since the first 51 planets. Didier Queloz and Michael Mayer discovered Pegasus b in 1995. According to Schnellen, this is the find of the year and maybe the decade. Not only does this imply that a planet the size of Earth circles our closest star, but it also suggests that more worlds like this are typical. It will serve as our primary research facility for studying alien life. We won't know for decades whether life may survive on this planet, but the conditions are probably considerably better than on Mars, according to him. Proxima b is close by, although it is 4.2 light years away, or 40 trillion kilometers in astronomical terms, it would take 80,000 years for a spaceship to go to Proxima Centauri at the speed of Voyager 1, the only other object constructed by humans in the region between the stars. With modern innovations like the James Webb Telescope, it may be cut in half. The planet is tidally locked with one side constantly facing the star. Since this habitable zone is near to the star and the star is quite tiny, the steady stream of powerful radiation from the host star is thought to make it extremely improbable that life could have arisen on the day side. Radio signals have already been picked up from the vicinity of Proxima Bay from Proxima B, which is about 4.5 million miles away from the Sun, or around one-tenth of Mercury's distance from the Sun at its closest point. Radio astronomers, however, think that this was probably merely interference from natural sources. A clear question is raised by this. Can life exist there? Proxima Centauri b orbits inside the habitable region of its star, the smallest distance that water might be liquid. It is difficult to say whether or not the planet can maintain an atmosphere, which has an impact on whether or not there is liquid water. Proxima Centauri b may have witnessed its early atmosphere being blown away during one of its host star's more active phases if it had originated close to its current orbit. But frustratingly little is known about the development of red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri. The star's activity could also not matter if the planet formed further away and moved closer to the star later. The alternative is to seek for an atmosphere because we cannot determine whether one exists. It's not as simple as it seems. Despite being the nearest star, it is still 4.25 light years away, which makes it difficult to observe. In separate research studying the possible applications of the James Webb Space Telescope, it was predicted that it would be able to detect indications of extraterrestrial life as early as 2026. In less than 60 hours, according to Ohio State researchers, it might discover life on another planet since it can recognize the signs left by living things. With that, our video has come to a close. What do you think about these new discoveries? Please let us know in the comments section what videos you want next. Until next time, 